Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA if you can brew it, Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. It's been a while since I did one in the living room back with the old periodic table. Anyways, I got a, a kind of a special beer tonight. This is Julius Ector Hef Weiss beer. Hefeweizen. Authentic, uh, so premium Bavarian ale. Beer, brewed under the Bavarian... Security Law of 1516. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a German import. I got this, if you saw my video at Westmere uh, Beverage, they had this on the counter for 99 cents. You know why? It's because it expired. It says best before uh, April 2009. So this was actually expired beer. And plus they also ordered way too much of it, they said. So for 99 cents, it's a uh, it's worth the gamble. Uh, half Weiss beer, half a wine, and whatever you want to call it. On the poster, it just says Weiss beer. It's right here, uh, second column on the ales, underneath an American pale ale and above a Belgian triple. Uh, it doesn't have any description of the beer on the bottle. I looked it up on Beer Advocate. It's like 4.9%, I think. I'll look it up. I'll double check. I'm not using my wheat beer glass, and I'm just going to use this Alexander Keith's tulip style glass. And I don't know if this is, I assume this is unfiltered. Yeah, I'm getting a big head already. But this is, the glass, or the, the bottle is bigger than the glass. So I'm not going to be able to shake this up. There's still a few inches left in there. We'll come back to it. Well, as you can see, a nice, uh, it's like a bright yellow color. Very, very cloudy. I don't see any sediment in there. I see a lot of carbonation, though. There's lots of bubbles going on there. As you can see, a nice, you know, three-finger head there. It's like bright white, foamy. Got that really typical German... Hefeweizen smell, I can smell banana and clove, lots of spice in there. Smell, smells very spicy, so uh, here we go with uh, Julius Ector Hefeweizen. Mm. I mean, to me, this tastes pretty much the same as the Paul Anner in the Weinstefaner Hefs. They all have like that really kind of spicy taste of uh, banana and clove. got a really sweet kind of fruity taste going on here too. And like a lot of hefts, it's got kind of like a thin watery body. So it's really easy to drink. I'm going to stir up the bot, the last of this and get this in here because I don't know if there's, there's sediment on the bottom or whatever. That's how you're supposed to pour an unfiltered wheat beer. Some people will tell you to just tur tip the whole bottle upside down and just let it, f I, I don't care for that, I think. Just pour it regularly and throw up the bottom. Well, looks still looks the same. It certainly doesn't taste expired. It's, uh, it's not mild, but it's not intense. It's somewhere in between. It's just a real, it's like a real nice intensity. I think this is pretty drinker friendly. It's not, uh, it's definitely not as intense as the Paul Anner or the Weinstefaner. But it is really tasty, though. Kind of like a juicy kind of thing going on here. Pretty light. Um, really smooth, too. Like I said, it's kind of like a watery kind of body. And because the flavor is not... You know, the flavor is a little bit more mild than the other ones. It's not, you know, it's not hard to drink at all. Yeah, finish is pretty smooth.
get a, a little bit of a dry aftertaste, but uh, maybe I chalk it up to the fact that this is a little old. But uh, wow, for 99 cents, this is a really, really good beer. So uh, um, I, don't, I don't really have much else to say about it. I like it. So uh, I'm just going to finish this up and we'll come back with my final thoughts. Well, I'm back. Just about to finish up with the Julius Hector Hefeweiss. Um, you know, I like this one a lot. Um, although it was a little mild, but it was really, you know, the taste that was there was really, was really good, appealing. I'm noticing a bit more of like a lemony kind of flavor here. Um, le not so much banana, I guess. There's more of like a citrus and clove. And there's a little bit of banana in there and some spice, but, um, you know, like I said, this is actually rather mild for a German, uh, half a wisen. But I'm just going to chalk it up to the fact that it's a little old, so maybe, maybe it just kind of mellowed out as it, as it aged. <sighs> yeah, so, I, I like it a lot. So it's got a good taste and it's easy to drink. It's 4.9% ABV. Doesn't feel like that heavy of a beer. You know, wheat beers in general are usually pretty light. So, uh, you know, I might go back to Brew Crew. If they got more of these for 99 cents, I might just grab up a case of them. Because it's really, this would be a great, great summer beer for just sitting around, uh, you know, barbecue, watch the game or whatever. So, anyways, I'm giving an 8 out of 10 to uh, Julius Hector Hefweiss beer. Uh, it's, a, it's an excellent beer for this review. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.